Welcome to Dinosaurs Before They Were Fuels. This is the show where we cover dinosaur news. I'm your host, Aya Zaktar, and let's get to it. Take a look at an ostrich. This giant sized bird may hold some information about dinosaur motion. Ostrich wings were originally thought to be used just in temperature regulation and display. A new study took a look at ostriches. These ostriches were hand raised and were the subject of airstream tests. This study found that these wings did more than originally thought. The wings were used to make quick turns and for stopping. Using this information, it is probable that bipedal dinosaurs used their front limbs in a similar fashion. So those little front limbs weren't just used for clawing, but they were also used for maneuvering. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. At first, people thought the animal was a swift, upright, killing machine. Turns out T-Rex probably leaned over, had both predatory and scavenger behaviors, and may not have been too fast. A new study examines nerves. The speed limit on animals is heavily influenced by the speed limit of its nerves. Say an animal is running around and it encounters an obstacle. The animal needs time for its brain to get the signal from its body that there's something in the way. Nerves do have a finite speed limit, and that limit applies to all vertebrates, including the T-Rex. So how fast do the T-Rex normally move? Around the speed of a modern elephant. Let's say you discovered a new dinosaur. Let's take a look at this dinosaur's skull. Now we have a couple of beers. What do you want to name your discovery? Looking at its heart-shaped form, maybe this was used to attract mates. Maybe it worked its magic on dinosaurs of the opposite sex. How about Mojoceratops? Yep, this actually is the Mojo Ceratops. The dinosaur was discovered by Nicholas Longrich. The name originally started as a joke, but the name stuck. Odds are the hippo-sized dinosaur used its frill to attract mates. Mojo Ceratops would have been found in what is now Saskatchewan and Alberta, Canada. Clutches of dinosaur eggs have been found near geysers in Argentina. This is the first discovery of its kind. Geysers are incredibly hot and harsh locations. It is possible that the heat was used for incubation. Which species of dinosaurs laid their eggs here? The researchers involved are not sure yet. However, the eggs themselves are quite large, with shell thicknesses ranging from about 1 to 8 millimeters. Since these eggs were still in the location, dinosaurs that did survive this extreme environment probably came from eggs with thicker shells. We'll keep an eye out to see if any more discoveries like this happen. The Discovery Channel will be showing off its new show, Reign of the Dinosaurs, at the San Diego Comic Con on July 23rd. The special is being produced by Pixar, makers of Toy Story, WALL-E, The Incredibles, and a host of other excellent movies. It's being called Avatar Meets Jurassic Park. If you're at this Comic Con, check it out. Otherwise, the special will be on Discovery soon. And that does it for this episode of Dinosaurs Before the Refuels. In my haste to get out the last episode, I forgot to thank you, the viewers, who voted and emailed to keep this show going. Thank you. I'm Aya Zaktar, and I'll see you in about two weeks. Don't forget, you can subscribe at FiniteComedy.com or YouTube so you don't miss a single episode. Thanks for watching.